Verified, Harry is confirmed as Megan's best lying robot, the infamous manipulation. Hello friends, welcome to the breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. I've been thinking a lot about Harry and Dr. Mate's most recent interview that they did. Now, seeing somebody speak without any consideration for personal boundaries is pretty uncomfortable to watch. This is the lying addiction talking. Harry is a junkie, and so it feels very natural for him to lie. You see, junkies tell lies to other people as well as themselves, and Harry's finally going to begin to recover after he can accept the fact that his mother's upbringing was not perfect. He has to stop blaming other people for his problems, and he needs to accept accountability for his own personal improvements. And it is depressing. I mean, I do on some level feel sorry for him. He or somebody else is making a lot of money by preying on this vulnerability. And Diana is continuing to be elevated by Harry and Meghan to a position of just angelic virtue. And so he's a horrible person. Harry feels tortured. And so to deal with his feelings of suffering, he self-medicates and he accuses other people of things they didn't even do. Harry is focusing on blaming other people rather than accepting responsibility for his own behavior. And I think his addictions are really fueled by this self-hatred. The fire is fueled by gas. Harry cannot forgive his mother and he cannot stop blaming himself or other people until he can come to accept that she wasn't perfect and she made mistakes. Harry keeps on insisting that he's not a victim, but he keeps blaming other people for his problems. This really is just the word salad nonsense coming from a junkie, and I don't think Megan is really helping him in this way. Instead, she's also elevating Diana to the level of a saint in his eyes, and she's just feeding into his animosities towards his family. And because of this, their connection is toxic, it's codependent, and it's very addictive. They rely heavily on each other, and they try to convince each other that it's them against the world. And we all know that arrogance precedes disgrace. Now, as far as we know, William has a much healthier life. And he's aware that his mother's parenting methods were not always perfect. But by embracing this fact, he has been able to handle the situation so much better. But I'm afraid that Harry is very weak-minded and he doesn't really have any substance. Harry began using recreational drugs for the purpose of having fun, but now he's addicted, and so he has to give himself some excuse that he's using those drugs for medical purposes, which enables him to feel like he's legitimate, and he can continue to use the drugs without being called a druggie. Harry is an addict, and for him to go out there and promote these psychedelic drugs for purposes of treating mental health, while there is for sure limited research evidence to back that up, is dangerous and so irresponsible. The stuff he said encouraging drug use is very dangerous to young people out there. I mean, I don't know that young people really listen to him, but some might. And I do believe that he's trying to justify his drug use by claiming that he felt so much better when he took them. A lot of vulnerable people are going to see that and think, oh, well, if a literal prince can take these drugs and be okay, then I can do it too. But Harry is drug-addled and he doesn't understand what he's saying. He does not realize the dangers that it could cost many young people out there. It's a little bit like telling how many Taliban members he killed. So dangerous for so many people. But Harry is so out of touch with reality, especially about his mother, because he still sees her as this perfect angel. Now, Diana, let's make no mistake, Diana was a wonderful humanitarian, but still she had her problems. And I know that Harry was too young to understand those problems when she was still living. And also, he's so jealous of his older brother that verges on hatred. And I don't believe Harry even understands why he hates them. I don't think he fully understands why he feels so much rage towards his own family. And it seems like now he's just gone too far. He can't stop himself. Those nasty comments regarding Charles and Camilla are shocking. And the problem is, Harry probably still loves them and he just doesn't know how to stop himself. And I think a lot of the things he talks about are stories that he heard from somebody else. I don't think Harry lives in reality at all. He lives in a fantasy world. He comes out with the most absurd statements that are filled with these victim overtones. And Harry doesn't have the smarts to think logically. He can't really reason about what he's saying or doing. When you see Harry out and about, he's clearly on something. I don't know if it's cannabis or if it's something stronger, but I think he still has some major drug problems. Harry needs some serious help from a real doctor, not some quack who Megan sets him up with. 
Harry's not helping himself by the way he acts. And if there are real children in this situation, then I'm really worried about them because this cannot be a healthy environment for them either. Listening to Harry's 90-minute interview with that alleged doctor was so cringy. I mean, there was so much word salad coming from this prince of the realm who clearly has forgotten how to behave. And as for this doctor who believes in hallucinogens, it is very concerning. He is more or less saying that it's just fine and he's giving Harry justification for using these drugs. So I really hope that no vulnerable kids or anybody with mental health problems watch this farce of self-pity. I do wish that somebody could help Harry escape from this situation. One British expert commented, I would say that his chronic drug use already as a very young person, drugs of all kinds, including heavy ones, alcohol too, caused changes in his brain because the brain was still developing. This fact is also the reason for certain behavioral disorders and immaturity in personality, even if he is almost 40 years old. He himself believes that only the divorce of his parents and the death of his mother is the sole reason for his being like that. In this way, he can shift the responsibility for his behavior away from himself. Besides, his mother wasn't a saint. He should go to Turkey or Syria and help the earthquake victims. Then he can see what is traumatic. He didn't do well in school and didn't learn a trade except for 10 years in the military. Maybe he should work on the assembly line for a week. I can't understand why he needs to televise his feelings in this way. How many genuinely traumatized people would want the world to sit in on their treatment? I would think the primary motive for therapy would be to understand their trauma and be able to deal with it and move on, not continually rehash it for public consumption. So why would Harry do this? Is it just for the money? Has he found that people are fascinated by the inside story and will pay for it, so he is prepared to give them what they want at a price? Is it that he wants to hurt his family by letting them see how he feels they have damaged him and let him down? Either reason makes him seem greedy and vindictive. I think that if he genuinely wanted to recover, it's something he would do in private. Someone has convinced him this is a good thing to do. Someone has convinced him that he is helping people by being so public about his difficulties. I hope I am wrong, but I suspect Megan is behind all these big mistakes. I suspect she is manipulating Harry into showing himself as unstable and unfit to be a father. Next will come the divorce, and she will use the book and the interviews as evidence. Why else doesn't she stop him from making such a fool of himself? Surely any loving wife or partner would talk to him about this. Interestingly, despite announcing last year that she and Harry were like salt and pepper, where one went so did the other, this year she has been very, very quiet. She hasn't spoken out in support, she hasn't appeared in any of the interviews, and she is very low profile, almost as if she is distancing herself from the embarrassment that these interviews are. What do you think of Harry's odd behavior and the audience's suspicions of a strong manipulation on the part of Megan? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you have found this video helpful. And don't forget to leave us a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back to see you in the next videos. Bye-bye now.